skill set at Fenway's Force Group. And I think it, it uh, uh, is perfectly suited for, um, in the U.S., we sometimes we call them breaking curses. We had an 86 year drought in uh, Boston for winning a World Series, and there's been a 20 year drought for winning a, a, the first division. And so we looked at similarities between what we had accomplished in Boston what we thought we could do in Liverpool. There was a very strong feeling among us that we were perhaps qualified, even though we didn't know the sport. We knew the sports business. We, we know what it takes to put together a, a sports organization. It's competing at the highest level in the world's most popular sport. That was a, a, an attraction we couldn't pass up. Talk about your initial reaction to Liverpool fans when you first stepped inside Anfield. Well, it was terrific. Uh, the the cop is uh, unrivaled. The the atmosphere. I, I was really surprised because we've heard so much about needing a new stadium. We were surprised at uh, how beautiful Anfield was. And, uh, it would be hard, just as it would be hard, it would have been hard to move when we bought the Red Sox to move out of Fenway Park because of the history and the, and the magic that happens every night. And uh, it'd be hard to replicate that feeling. Uh, anywhere else. The fans wanted Kenny Belise back and you delivered. Uh, can you talk about the process of giving Kenny Belise the manager's job again at Liverpool Football Club? So we knew we had to make a change and when we, we did, I, I talked with Kenny about it. I said, uh, we just need um, someone to come in for six months and stabilize the club in general. His, his focus is totally on what's best for LFC. It's not about me, it's about what's best for this club. But have you ever seen someone as revered by one set of fans as Ken Bagliese is by the Liverpool faithful? I can't imagine how anybody could be more beloved by fans, um, not just for what he accomplished on the field, but what he did off the field uh, through, through some, some very difficult times for the club and for the supporters. But we couldn't have made a better choice. You still have to try hold on to the big name players you already have. Talk about that process and how you get them to buy into the long term plans. Well, again, I think that uh, one of the things that we've talked about from the very beginning is how important it is that everyone be on the same page. And no player is bigger than the club. Uh, we expect players to to want to be there, and if if they if they don't want to be a part of Liverpool Football Club, then we should do everything we can to facilitate them going elsewhere, but it's up to us really to create an atmosphere there and create an excitement there that has been there throughout our history and will attract the best uh, the best players in the world. So, so that's, uh, it's not going to happen overnight. It's, it's uh, it, it takes work. Well, there you have it from John W. Henry, a man that has a